and I think you can you can try and run your own jungle here because right now VG Gaming don't have that, and VG Gaming have a semi one which is the SK. But in the early stages, he'd probably be majorly focusing on stacking and then get to here level comes two the Furion. Yeah, it's not gonna no no <laughs> love the no. Furion. The support I mean... Furion did not work. I'm a fan of Prophet. I love Prophet. Play him every day if I could, but I just. Just, he doesn't, he's not efficient in the jungle anymore. And he comes to a lane, he doesn't bring as much as you really want. He's basically a right click and a couple of trees, which maybe potentially, if you can summon them in the right position, can body block. And your sprout doesn't really work because in the early stages, people go tangos anyway. So they just break themselves free. You're better going at Chen, which isn't really played by many, many players at all anymore. But it'd be better I having don't that hero. Chen this game. I think they want. A support that puts a lot of pressure on early game because they need to stop the same thing I was saying. So even if it's not the aggressive, they need to have something that can like pressure the mid with the viper while also still pressuring bottom. Um, they can just rely on their invoker and faces void and viper to get the farm, and then they can take the lanes later with their supports and get the levels. I don't really know what. I would pick a fuss in their situation. It's just, there's so in, many choices. In this, in this situation, I think the only thing that you could go in for is like, uh, you don't want Bane. Maybe go VS. VS might be a nice option to go with the Skywrath Mage. It means you can control the Brewmaster in one position to, to nail him down with a Mystic Flare. You need a little bit of help to do it though. I'm just worried about in the late game. Remaining. The late game potential. Skywrath and VS will just die directly yeah. to the Ancient Apparatus. Yeah. I like that choice. It, 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 it limit them in a way. Unless this is an aggro tri lane from them, and then like a black invoker on, on bottom lane, ice 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 in the mid as the faceless void. Because up against the other Titan, I don't think you really want to be having void going up against Titan. And ice 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 is probably aware of this too. Like ice 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 has played so much elder Titan, it's not funny. Uh. Could they do an aggro challenge void? The thing is, with Wraith King and Sarath, like, they can just roam. So they can just do standard, like, their regular lanes anyways. They can put Invoker Bot or Viper Bottom. And then just have the Faces Void be off lane. And they can just run around with this. Like, the Wraith King Sarath roaming combo is really popular. I mean, Liquid, like, did it a lot. TI. Is the, are they all lagging? Oh, they have a disconnect. All right. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit of lag in this game, I think. I'll wait till the pause. I'm going to have to reconnect. But... Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty common thing, and it should, like, allow them to force Sand King to, you know, react to them a little bit instead of just letting him freely stack and form the jungle. So I, I also believe they will, since they have a Wraith King Skyrath at level 1 and a Viper, they'll go for that, like, level 1 run into the Dire Jungle and, like, ward it up with sentries. But I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure they're going to do that. Well, I see observers so far. I just want Observer giving up to the Faceless Void. There's no sentries being purchased. They're gonna, they're gonna be defensive about it all. So, uh, we got, uh, Super Rush heading down to the bottom lane. Maybe they could try and catch out the other Titan. I'm fairly certain Black's gonna want to remain down here. He's walking around with, uh, with Tango Salve as well as a, just a, a Ring of Protection for the moment. FY, we got Smokes, we got Wards. We've got two Tangos as well as Wraith Bands. That's definitely a mid-solo build for a Viper. And Ice 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 just gets the ward down. And all, all IG do is just put a very defensive vision ward. It's actually a long way over to the right, but... This will allow June to just basically do whatever the hell he wants and back up without dying. Meanwhile up on top lane, Chorn will be the same king, Groot's first man. We got a uh, Observer ward planning down by the Ancient Apparition. Uh, well, he's moved into position to do it, but the Radiant Observer Ward's currently watching for this. So it won't be too difficult for VG Gaming to get the D Ward out in that. I'm still not seeing anybody buying up sentries, however. Oh yeah, so off, off lane June, mid lane Ferrari Brewmaster, top lane Luo Razor, and then the two supports with them. Super begins. middle lane, there's the Viper, Ice Ice Ice, off lane Faces Void, bottom lane, a safe lane Invoker, Black Exhort. And then we'll have Fenrir as well as FY, the Skywrath as well as the Wraith King, who's also been able to find himself an, uh, an Invis rune. So potential for killing in the middle lane is now just raised tenfold. But only if Ferrari loses control of the creep wave and he ends up moving back past this line. 
even in this position, okay, is he, gonna, he comes very close to the line. He needs to be at that line because it's, it's impossible for Fenrir to get in range. In fact, he's being, yeah, the, he got pinged out just then. He's being watched by uh, Ferrari 430, which is why this gank isn't going, going to work. I'm still at the game, sorry. <laughs> That's cool. I saw his eyes managed to uh, be zoned out a little bit on this off lane. So Luo as well as Chiss bug together. And then you got a static link as well as chilling touch. Bonus damage on two range heroes against a melee hero. The only thing Ice can do is hope to drive creep wave down, which now he lost not complete control of. But he's definitely staying in range to get the experience at least. So that'll give him his one point up and backtrack. He just needs to live on this top lane. While super. He actually gives himself a, uh, I'll say a favorable matchup until he keeps getting drunk and brawled up. And Ferrari went for a very quick bottle. Just the two branches instead of going for the tango. Uh, and super actually ended up going in for a, uh, a magic stick. And this middle lane is the Viper. But Ferrari's off to a, a decent start. 3 0, but then against 5 6 for super. For all this drunken brawler. He doesn't really seem to actually be getting as, as great a start as I thought he really had. Are you you're still trying to connect in again, are you? Are you? I just got in, actually, I'm good now. Right. Welcome back in again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the lanes are pretty normal. Yeah, and they're just, everything's pretty standard. It's just Ferrari. I'm, I'm actually seeing him losing this mid lane up against Super right now. He's dropping very, very low. The Drunken Brawler and, and uh, as well as Drunken Haze is got keeping him up in this game. And Chuan's gonna try and babysit the regeneration rune for him, but Super's not gonna let him get anywhere near it. And I think Ferrari understands this too. The bottle's gonna take way too long to get out. Maybe, maybe he will. Chuan still just sits on top of it and he can see it. Oh, the radius I can see it. That's why I don't think Super's gonna let him get anywhere near it. Force Chuan to take that regeneration rune. He'll move down, or he'll go for a straight power strike, and then pick up the rune, but he gets attacked straight away. So the mana loss is still gonna be there. Yeah, he picked up like 20 men or something, but June's getting gone on. I don't. Are they gonna do this? They do have black. Black has a sunstrike. June's gonna. Ah, oh, the sunstrike! Oh, missed it. it that was like, definitely a kill. It looks like they actually clipped him a little bit too. Do not pretend. You have uh, I think he just tried to lead it a little too much and just instead of just waiting for the stun. Mm. Well, a Hellfire Blast, you don't really consider the like the stun duration to be that long. It is two seconds. It's, it's not something where you're like, oh yeah, like this is gonna be like a, a permanent lockdown. Nah, it's good enough. I mean, the delay is only 1.7 for Sunstrike, so you just hit it as soon as the Hellfire Boss lands and it's a guaranteed hit. But yeah, that was just kind of a misplay. They still pushed the Elder Titan out of the lane though, and they're gonna get this pull, so he's not gonna get that much. I decided Size is trying to leech out this experience. He's a little bit too far away. Chorn's able to zone him out. But he's managed to find uh, almost level 4 on this top lane as a faceless void. So like Black showed in game number 1, leap yourself in with the Chrono and the team fights can drastically change. And even then, like, or, or you can just force the lane even further. You get a Chrono on the Ferrari, super right now. He's leading the way by a full, like, half a level actually in the mid, up against Ferrari. But the CS is through the roof for him. Not to mention the denial of June. This be first blood right now. First he gets the spirit world. down, but that's not going to save him. The sun strikes this time around hit perfectly with Kaja shot orb and hellfire blast. They locked him in position. So that's our now VG gaming off to the start they needed to to keep their hopes alive here in the grand final. Yeah, if you get the Wraith King like really farmed early in this type of game, I'm just gonna have a lot of problems. If he can get like early level 11 and get a, some good reincarnates in team fights, it's just too annoying for their team to deal with. Chuan. A one level bar strike and you get blocked up by uh, the Radiant Creep wave that got pulled over to the side. So you can't gank up to Ice 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 Luo. Unless it's Static Link being broken very, very quickly. Now that it's up to level 3, Ice 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 can actually hesitate with that time walk. Can they actually combo him? Let's see, so... Not with the level 1 bar strike. They can't get in range. I think that's the primary yeah. problem right now of IG is the fact they just don't have a jump ability. And you only got one point up in the sandstorm, so Chuan, uh, we got ourselves a, a double stack prepped by the Ancient Apparition. In fact, what we got? We got two double stacks uh, prepped right now. So the SK could potentially farm it up, but he needs his second level up in sandstorm before he can do it. You can't do it with the first. 
And in the meantime, their lanes just uh, not, are not going the way of uh, of IG. The gold advantage is now stretching up to 1500. Experience is around the same. Because you've got Fenrir as well as FY being rather efficient inside their own jungle. And you got this impending Sunstrike, which can come at any point, into Ferrari, who still is 14 0 up against a 31 14 Viper. Smoking on mid right here. They're trying to get Panda before they actually just picked up six. Uh, with, the with the Hellfire Blast, have they, they have Seal, but they have to walk up and seal him straight away. And the, the, the uh, stun wait as long as they possibly could. The Sun's Race coming in, Ferrari can't TP out. Black is now able to pick up his first kill of the game. He helped out with the Sun Strike before, but this time he actually takes it. And that all goes to the Bill Me Minus fund as the Invoker. I really like what Fenrir did there. He actually, I mean, typically you save your point. <laughs> Excuse me, for the silence, but he was waiting for that roam mid just in case it could get on him before he got level six because he wanted the extra nuke damage I think from Arcane Bolt if uh, they were able to like get mid without the panda being six. We got some big movement coming up from FY as well as Fenrir. They're searching for some opening. They'll see Chuan moving back. There's some pings coming up saying just look towards the high ground as he's coming now in towards the mid. He's actually running directly into Super. Like, Super can just attack him. Okay, he'll evade with the Sandstorm. But the initial movement here was meant to be so uh, you just look for a secondary Sun Strike. Now, Courier, they're coming in with a fake Faceless Void. They. Wait, what? Okay, they're coming in with two fake Faceless Voids to try and gank up onto Chuan. He does not have Sandstorm, and they know this, I'm pretty sure. They. They don't see him. Now they see him. It must be just far enough out of range, but he walks into the tree line where Fenrir is. The bar is strike away. The seal comes a little bit later, and the sun strikes perfectly on the mark from Invoker. Second kill coming the way of Black. While he sits defensively behind his tower, it's Ferrari. He came down here to gank him, but he's not finding the opening. The spirit will come in and will hit on Black. But getting in underneath that tower when you're going up against Cold Snap and already a level seven and a half Invoker, I don't see this working for Ferrari with split or no split. FY and Fenrir now come to one point. The Cold Snap goes into June. The Hellfire Blast, and so June's going to go down. Ferrari can go for the split, but now he's still up against three heroes. There's one. He's lost his ET. He's lost his advantage. Yeah. Uh, everything's going right for you to VG this game. They're just playing like the standard lanes, like I said, and they're getting the roams with the Wraith King and Skyrath combo. Uh, I said, you could have got that kill, man. Leap into Chrono, Sun Strikes up, cool out. He might want to save it for another hero. Like, using it on an A is not the greatest thing in the world, but yeah. Oh, actually, when, when, when you're courier? When you're, when you're 4 0 up, uh, I don't know if you can actually see it at the moment. When, you, when you're 4 0 up as a team and you want to keep momentum going, especially moments like this, the Observe Ward's going to scout out Chuan perfectly, and he can just Chrono this. And he does. Chuan right at the edge of it, the Sun Strike's going to come in, and it hits his mark. Black now with his third kill. Nice, nice, nice. It's walking some way out of the cold feet. And there's a lot of support coming after him. June, Ferrari, Chisbug, Luo. The other remaining four heroes of Invictus Gaming move up and try and, well, at least make sure they can take the stack. But they're dragging so many heroes off the lanes every time they're trying to come for a counter gank, and they're getting nothing for it. Yeah, like that kill was way more worth the chrono because even though they got the stack, they had to give it to other heroes, and Saint King is in desperate need of that experience at the very least. So I that Ward is also in range off. for half of the death of that stack. So he, actually, yeah. he managed to grab some of the experience from it too. He is very farmed. He's moving over helpful. again to be a nuisance. Chuan, this Observer Ward is only one for the Dire side, and he sees the stack going on. But this is a triple stack which he wants to leech the experience for. And Chisbug, gotta be careful. One time lock, a lucky one, and he'll drop. Invoker, Sunstrike's watching. But he's got 440 life points. What level of, uh, of Exort are we up to? Okay, it's the fourth level up in Exort. That Sunstrike's still gonna hit pretty hard. This Black's really... He's actually moving through the levels very quickly, too. He's about to use his yep. hand of Midas over on the big troll. About to crack level 9. In comparison to, like, the his, his off mark... Uh, his off mark. The uh, the opposite, which is the other the other number one position for IG. Suddenly just going to hit level 8, but Razor does have the mech up already. That's a lot more difficult to kill him off. Uh, and he actually hasn't been touched at all. Attack. Yeah, that hero can easily be managed, though by the Viper and uh, 
like chronosphere and stuff if so i think they're sort of okay with just letting him do what he wants as long as they're shutting down the other heroes mm -hmm. which they have done very very well black's hiding again trying to evade the spirit for the moment summons a forge spirit and he does get snapped by a little bit but ferrari comes in with an invis rune but black's is moving over to fenrir as well as fy so Invis Rune or not, there's no Sentry Ward available in Ferrari. You might initiate not realizing that FY as well as Fenrir are so close. He'll move up. The Invis Rune's still got some time. Viper took out the T1 tower in the mid in the mid. While they're waiting for all of this. But Black's really not being contested at all. He's got 2.5k gold on this invoker now. What what is he waiting to buy? Because he's obviously check. not gonna buy face boots, treads, or anything like that. I got a funny feeling he's gonna look to rush up Necro units at this rate. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he didn't get a Necro book. Wow, Wraith King actually just got a minus. <laughs> uh, support Wraith King has got an 11 minute minus, which I mean is really fast for a support hero. And he hasn't really been farming lanes either, that's the thing. He's just been pulling and going for kills. So just between the tower kill, the kills he's gotten, the fact that he hasn't died at all. I mean, he, that is crazy. That's so bad for IG. A Wraith King with a minus just means he's gonna have a really early 16. and. Once that hero gets 16, he's a huge nuisance, more so than usual. Spirit's doing some work here on the bottom lane, but not enough. The ancient version has got nothing to stop this kind of push. And the SK still has no blink daggers. They can't go for a counter initiation. So the minus has arrived for FY. So not only is he going to get like that level 16, but he's going to get some very quick farm. But that would be the second T1 tower to drop. While ISISI is sitting up on the top lane, sees Chuan arrive. And uh, leaps, Kronos reveals him, Sunstrike, perfect position. They keep feeding kills over to Black, he now has 3.7k gold. I, Black has 5 kills, I don't know how many of them he's actually gotten by being there. Viper kills off the Ancient Apparition, looks like Initiation, the Viper Strike ticked him out. The regeneration of the world wasn't enough. As Concussive Shot slows down Ferrari, so he's also incapable of chasing. There's just no Blink Daggers, there's no Initiation for IG. They're forced to take what VG Gaming are throwing at them. And they're, yeah, basically, all the smoking strategy are not working out this game. And everything from VG is working out. And to a certain, it's one of those games where it's just everything, I mean, it's kind of like luck almost. Obviously, that one word ended up paying off huge. That was really, like, they should have expected them to sort of try and defend against the same king. So their, like, way of doing it this game, instead of warding it, or instead of even aggressively roaming the same king, was they're just like, we're going to let him stack it, but we're going to make sure that ISSS gets a lot, and then we're just going to, like, ward it for ISSS so he can go over and contest the, the farm when the same king farms it. Which is probably the best way to do it if you're pretty confident that you can get that farm. And if you screw over a sinking early like they did, I mean, this is the result, pretty much. He's just spending all this time trying to like get together a blink dagger, but he has one now. Does it, it doesn't really do anything though? They already have mech on Viper. They don't even have a six on A yet, so they can't like combo. It, I don't think he can kill any hero except for like the Skywrath because Void and Wraith King are so farmed. Unless he catches Ice 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 with his pants down with the Mask of Madness turned on. That's like the other yeah. way I'm seeing that happen. FY is now looking at June in the mid. And June just throws him a spirit, but that's all he can do for now. That's a level 2 Necro book. That Blink Dagger as well. Uh, are we assuming FY is going to, like, after Strength Threads, going to go into a Blink Dagger? Just be that jumping initiator that's quite happy to die just to yeah, slow down I've, all of the Victor's gaming. Yeah, I think so. They should really get another blink initiator this game if they can. Like, he can just go blink Maelstrom, and he doesn't even need Maelstrom. He can just go blink. Uh, Blade Mail is pretty good this game. They do have a lot of AoE damage, so... I don't know if he'll just... It depends on if he wants to go for more of a late game farming build, but he doesn't really need to because, I mean, they're so ahead. They, he has a Midas already, and they have a Void and Invoker that are really farmed, so... I think definitely the blink, and then afterwards he can sort of decide if he just wants to forget, like, a more farm-oriented thing. But yeah, he can kill with Invoker or Skyrath once he gets his blink, if he gets it soon enough. This Razor, bottom lane, man. IG, yeah. th they've been waiting so long for this. Chon's been waiting for the Skyrath mate, just for, a little bit too far out. That's for a Skyrath to too, I mean... <laughs> Yeah. It's a lot of time invested to try and kill a Skyrath mage. See his build as well? 1141. It's full control over Brewmaster. If Ferrari doesn't yeah. get the split, VG Gaming know, uh, knows they've won the fight hands down. That's that's their goal right now. 
Make sure that that guy gets absolutely nothing during a fight. And Chispo's trying to get his level 6 up on the top lane. He's leeching it by hiding in the tree line. But now aggressive wards coming down by FY, looking behind the tower and up into the jungle. The only thing he didn't do was put a ward up on the high ground to see Chispuck moving like he is now. But the observer ward did spot that out. They saw him move just then. Void leaps in. He doesn't want a chrono for this, but with a mover speed of mask and madness, he'll do it anyway. The Sun Strike's gonna take another kill. I can't believe how many kills the kills Black Flash to achieve, but all that money will now go into finishing up the level 3 Necro book. And then 16 it. minutes in. Yep. Wow. Sixty minutes. They don't really have anything to deal with that kind of push this early. I mean, the Sand King can't really epicenter and fully commit to like a team fight at, with 700 HP. He doesn't even have like the mana pool yet to really pull off a combo. So, and even the Brewmaster, the Brewmaster wants to let a Dolty off. If he even gets stunned up for a short period of time, the Necro gets going to drain out his mana, so we can't split. He's got bottle charges, but no arcane boots. So this, the mana pool is really, really low for him at the moment. And he's been he's in perfect vision. This observer was seeing the entire lineup of Invictus Gaming. That's why Ice 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 just gonna back up. They don't have Chronos available. FY, Hellfire Blast. He's gonna try and turn a fight into Ferrari and try and force a split. Now Fenrir is coming over. FY is still not dead yet. Luo frontline. There's your missing play. The Burrow Strike with the Epicenter and the splitter from June. Three to nine is over. Black comes the engagement. Good deafening blast back. Ferrari, he will get the split off. Chisbug will go down the orb attack damage to Fenrir. So it's three for the price of one. Blast gone A wall. Try and battle up against a split target. Eyes, 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 back to the fight. June, he'll take a fall. A black, still alive. This guy is just so tanky. The Brewmaster only is now going to wear off. He gets one last hit in the Drunken Brawler. So Black managed to waste the entire Brewmaster only. His Necro units are still up. The Skywrath Mage of all people is taking a triple kill here. And GG is the call. 17 minutes in. Not even a tier 2 tower going down just yet. That just shows you Invictus Gaming. Respect the fact that VG Gaming owned this game. Yeah. That fight went about as good as possible for them, and they still got all died and only killed two. <laughs> so, and that's a respectable leave. I mean, they. I think they just want to keep their morale up on their team, basically. And they're like,